peace and compassion. Be not for once that intentional cost harm and intentional cost suffer. Compassion, kindness and frankness is not for victimizers. As Malcolm X once have said, you don't can be against slavery and for slave masters. You don't can be against a lynching and for the lyncher. You don't can be for the, for uh, against rape and for the rapists. That is one inconsistency. You don't can be for the perpetrator and for uh, and uh, against the crime, the real crime, not the business crime. Forget the law. Laws been always broken for free-thinking radicals that understand that the law has been unjust. The Allied forces break down violently the cage of Birkenhaus and Auschwitz. Just like the slave liberationists break free the slaves from the West. Just like uh, the Nazis being executed, some of them through their in unbelievable and just evil acts. In the eyes of the victimizer, what they do is right. Because nobody sees themselves like a criminal. And therefore, they make some illusion up. Some illusion, some fantasy, some matrix, some lie. So, cognitive dissonance. You don't have to admit their role. Don't make the vote that you place yourself in the position of the victimizer. Because if you're not being the victim, it becomes pretty easy to make excuses for any kind of injustice. From rape, from child molestation, to murder, to kidnapping, from carnism, from cannibalism. No other despicable behavior. Something that humans have to learn. Because humans have actually learned anything. Most humans don't learn themselves things. They come to rational conclusions. For themselves. They are instead do what the media told them to do family society not thinking about themselves and i find that despicable you don't deserve rights when you're not being willing to give rights that's a final violation peace begins on the dinner table whatever pig a cow a chicken and other animals ever done in your whole life to deserve internal damnation and internal punishment. In the animal concentration camps that we so euphemistically refer as slaughterhouses, animals being hanged up and down on the slaughterhouse floor. Some slaughterhouse worker that been actually a kind of psychopath come with a knife as long as my hat. And cutting their throats 
and let her hang ups and down, bleeding to their to their execution, to their elimination, to their destruction, to their murder. Hun how you want the gold, no matter who or which kind of euphemism you use. The act is still wrong. Animals don't want to be your victim, just like you don't want to be their victim. The golden rule that most people use to distinct wrong from uh, right from wrong is the golden rule. Do to others just like you want to let them do to you. Since no one wants to be treated like an uh, animal in one uh, execution camp. Treat it like nothing, like the life don't matter. Since nobody since most people don't even can hold one violent territory. Response under a violent rituals, traditions and habits. It is more than logical to become a vegan. Animals be not on this planet for humans. Just like women be not on this planet, planet as rape toys or punching bags for the husbands and boyfriends. Just like blacks be not on this planet for the white men. And you know that's true. Don't play stupid. I've been 12, I've been around uh, 30 years you now. Since the age of 12, I've no vitamin deficiency. There's a myth. Those who eat the cut of corpses of another animal, they're being the ones with deficiencies. And if they're not being true, why then on any street corner in most of Western countries, there being a drugstore? And every pitch top drugstore on any street corner to sell pharmaceuticals and vitamins when the majority of people eat animal products. If animal products all give all vitamins and minerals, why then we have no, we have uh, so much? Uh, then we have why we have then so much uh, vitamins? Um, Marketing uh, on the TV that uh, support uh, multivitamins. I will say uh, most of you were family members around the age of uh, 20. They take a lot of um, multivitamins for their immune system. If one percent of the America population for the people that think that vegans cannot get enough vitamin B12 even vitamin B12 is one bacteria that naturally live in the mouth and intestines of all humans the only reason that we don't get enough in this damn age as a human population in as whole is because we oversterilize anything. If it even if it been put for one minute on the ground, put it away because you can, then you can be coming sick. That extremely obsession with germs and bacteria. For that, now around something like one percent of the U.S. population is a vegan. If they have been so, why then around something like 35, um, 39% of the uh, US population have a vitamin B12 deficiency? If only 1% of the population is vegan, 
Can you understand it? The propaganda of the meat industry and all of their cronies is enormous. But I can be told the truth. I can open your blinders. I can break all of the boundaries. If you just go in with an open mind. I've been not a politician. I've been not a, a shit artist. I say what I think. And what I think is true. In contrary with all the businessmen. I want to make money of you. I want to sell you some new product where I can get money from. Think logical. The top five reasons of death in the Western world. Cancer. Diabetes, heart attacks, from blood allergies, and, all, and uh, diabetes, not from uh, too much amount of sugar, but from the extreme amount of animal fat that clogs your arteries and don't uh, and let your uh, body not allow to absorb the sugars so that the bloodstream don't can become low again check out the uh, Dr. Campbell and uh, the rice diet if you want to know there a little bit more about awake it Please use your mind. Don't believe somebody blindly because they say they have one diploma from one university. In a lot of cases that don't mean anything. For one example, Dr. Paleo, who the, that uh, all the Paleo deeds that uh, based their uh, Hypothesis on uh, flat st studies, on uh, small groups of um, human hunter and gatherer homoeida. They're being the shit artists. They don't give about you, they give, don't give about anything, they give about greed. They want to give you good. They want to tell you good things about your bad habits, because they know that that work by the most people. I wait. And see the reality. How can you ask for something that you don't be willing to give? It's not the use uh, of moral justice that uh, don't allow most people to not harm uh, children. There's one moral duty. Just like it is a moral duty, don't, don't cause extremely amount of harm on innocent living beings. Veganism is not about your, about you. Veganism is about the victims, the animals. However, nothing harms you attentional ever in the whole life. The least you can do is return the favor. Go vegan. What's the excuse of costing the least amount of harm possible in this planet? 
I hope you like the video. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. If you want to, to, to if you want to talk about the next topic in the next video, put it also in the description. And I'll see you later. <laughs> when darkness and light become one, the reality splits away, and the truth become visible.